Shelby. And welcome to the campus of Cal Poly San Luis Obispo for another Inland Sports UC Riverside basketball preview. That's Jeff Gorham. I'm Pep Fernandez. And uh, we're breaking down another Highlanders matchup, Jeff, as UCR is going for back-to-back -back Big West Conference wins. And the Highlanders look mighty impressive against that win in that win against Hawaii this past Saturday. Well, I'll tell you what, it all starts with those three freshmen. You have Zach Watson, the true freshman, Zach Watson, Dragon Elkaz, and Callum McRae, the emergence of the big fella here in the Big West the last couple games. So we're getting set for the Highlanders and the Mustangs in about 45 minutes. Of course, you can listen to the game live at GoHighlanders.com. But join us here courtside, a very special guest. He is the man in San Luis Obispo. Well, this is God's country. We love it up here. Jeff and I would probably never leave if we had the chance. Um, but Owen Main up here. Owen, uh, you are the man up here in San Luis Obispo. Tell us everything you know about the Mustangs. Go. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> But you do know a lot about Cal Poly. I know yeah. it's been a sluggish start for Cal Poly. Yeah. What's been going on with these guys? Yeah, um, I think you have a, a combination of things. You know, you, got, you lost, I think, three or four guys at the end of last season as grad transfers away from Cal Poly. It's really hard to get into grad school here. Uh, guys like Josh Martin, who, who played a big role last season, um, aren't. Uh, on the team this year. I think he's up at Santa Clara, Trevor Johns over at Drexel, Alex Abrams at Miami of Ohio. So you've lost some some depth there. And so you have some young kids playing. There's three uh, three freshmen that have been getting time for Cal Poly, Daxton Carr, uh, Tuka Yakala, and uh, and of course, Junior Ballard, who, who may not play tonight. Uh, I see him over there. Uh, I, don't, I don't see him out here. Yeah, there he is. He's in street clothes, so he won't play tonight. But he's been really impressive this year. What, what you generally have is just a, a transition year, I think, for a team that, uh, that had a number of seniors go away and, uh, and some other guys who are upperclassmen. You have, you have three seniors on this team for Cal Poly, Kuba Nijo, Don Fields, and uh, Marcellus Garrick, all of whom you know get a good amount of playing time and contribute a lot. But in terms of depth and talent that way, um, they lost a lot of it last season, even from a team that finished, I think, seventh place in the Big West. They finished seventh place five seasons in a row, and I think they're going to have to scramble this season to get up to, <laughs> to seventh place in the Big West. Uh, of course, you know, you probably need, what, three or four wins to get to that place to get into the conference tournament. And so for them, you know, being able to get off the schneid at home, two games at home this week, uh, you have UCR tonight, and then, of course, uh, Fullerton on Saturday. Really, you have to get at least one of those two games, if not both of them, if you're going to really start to think about, you know, winning at home and, and making it to the conference tournament, even as an eight seed uh, in this, you know, really deep uh, conference. The good news for Cal Poly is that 
they haven't been out of any games that they've played in conference so far. Down in Santa Barbara, they were right in the game till the very end, um, and and at Davis, even you know they were right in that game till uh, till the last few minutes. So it's not like they've been getting blown out. It's not like they've been giving up at all. Uh, these are guys who like to fight, who like to scrap. A lot of junior college uh, transfer kids on this squad, and so uh, you know you're, you're going to see a Cal Poly team that's going to fight for everything that they get, and uh, and if you're in San Luis Obispo, you know you hope they can get off the Stein tonight. Yeah, they've had some uh, some close calls. You know, they nearly beat Cal yep. at Cal, lost by one. But they played a pretty tough schedule. Washington State, Sac State, who's really, really been very good. I know they got postponed in their game, yep. but they played at Arizona. A very, very tough non-conference schedule, to say the least. Yeah, they, they like a lot of Big West schools, you know, they're, they're going to need to play some of those money games, some of those games where they can, you know, keep the program uh, in the black, I guess. Um, and, and when they talk about those games, you know, they definitely go and compete. I think two straight years, they they got pretty close to beating Cal in the last possession uh, up at Haas Pavilion. Um, but when it comes down to this team, you know, it's, it's, it's the little things at the end of the game that experience really gives you. And if you're a Cal Poly fan, you really hope that that experience over time, uh, over the, the games that they've played so far, starts to pay off in the second half and uh, as we move through uh, Big West play here. But they do have two really special players. And I'll tell you what, we saw him play Donovan Fields. You know, he was apparently he was a great quarterback in high school and wasn't sure if he wanted to play football or basketball. But uh, for Cal Poly's sake, I bet they're really happy that he decided <laughs> to play basketball he's one of, he's a dynamic player but there's a two another guy on the team uh, uh, Mark Crow who's yeah. a great three-point shooter I'm looking forward to seeing him play as well but those two are a very good one-two punch would you agree yeah Donovan Fields with the exception of maybe TJ shorts I don't know how I don't know how they stack up physically against each other I think Don's actually a little bit smaller than TJ but in the conference when you talk about little guys who they're can really all make little a, who can really make a big impact <laughs> uh, you know Donovan can really do that from the point guard position and for such a little guy to be able to get top down top down penetration and finish like he does um, it's really really impressive and really really exciting uh, for the fans here in San Luis Obispo. Uh, when, you, when you talk about Don, he's really the, the heart and soul of this team, the emotional leader and their leading scorer and uh, a guy who, uh, you know, who you just, you love his smile. Uh, I compare him to another guy who played here, Chris Eversley, who you could see him exuding joy on the basketball court. So and, he enjoys and Don the Fields, fun. You, you see him when, when, he's, when he's cooking, he's smiling. He's laughing. He's joking with teammates. He's talking to his ex-players. You see Victor Joseph, who graduated last year, across the floor. He's yelling at him during the game. It's it's a really fun atmosphere when Don gets going. And, and you talk about Mark Crow. He's the guy who's his third year here. He's a redshirt sophomore. And he's athletically right what you want from a three, kind of a swing man, sometimes a four in the Big West, right? You can get away with it. Um, and, and if you can have that guy who can make shots, you're in really good shape. And for Mark, early part of the season, he really got hot, made a lot of shots, uh, made a lot of three pointers, was able to uh, to get his percentage way up. It's been, you know, kind of more, at, you know, more in like the mid 30s, I think, in conference play. But uh, but Mark Crow is definitely a guy who's worked on his shot. I, I have a, uh, I'm an alumni here, alumnus here, and so I, I go to the rec center. And, and over the summertime, you know, I, I'd go shoot and play, you know, play hoops or whatever. And you'd see Mark Crow off in a off in a corner shooting threes by himself and, and taking jumpers by himself. So. It's the kind of thing I like to see. I'm sure they do it in here a lot too, but it's the kind of thing you like to see from a guy who's trying to develop his game and a very specific part of his game that when you have a guy like Don Fields who can penetrate and get inside and kick it out to Crow and Nijo and other players, now you have something that kind of works in terms of an inside-out game, and we know three-point shooters shoot a lot better when they get that pass from inside the key. Well, oh, before we go any further, where can we get your content? Because we know, yeah. in fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in on a second. You've got a camera uh, yeah. up, up against the, the well, the backside of the backboard, obviously, <laughs> but on the backboard Trying. to get some great shots of tonight's game. Yeah. So if people want to get all things uh, Cal Poly yeah. athletics, where can they find that? Yeah, I've been blogging less, but um, they can find my Twitter at fansmanship, also Instagram at fansmanship. That's F A N S M A N S H I P, and. Uh, and uh, they can find my, my website, fansmanship.com, has a link to the photos that I post up. So uh, definitely take a look at those. I always appreciate uh, people getting a look at them. So and, the photos uh, from that camera behind the backboard, we'll hey, see. Hey, I, I hope they come out enough for me to be, feel, feel good enough to show. At least I mean, one dunk on that end, right? I mean, that's <laughs> the thing, right? I mean, and, and some games you get, you know, three or four or something. Other games, you know, there's nothing. And, yeah. and it just kind of depends on who's defending well that half, I guess. But I only have one uh, one setup, so I got I to gotta choose a side because nobody's letting me do it. <laughs> nobody's letting me move them at halftime around here. <laughs>
<laughs> well, we are getting closer to tip off between the Mustangs and the Highlanders. Owen, we appreciate the time. And uh, again, make sure you follow him on social media and check out the website as well. We're going to take a quick break in, in just a moment here, Jeff. When we come back, we're going to size this matchup a little bit more uh, and also talk about our conversation that we just had with head coach David Patrick right back in the locker room. Yes, we are. It, I'll tell you what, it's it's really nice to see Coach Patrick work. I mean, every single game he's adjusted so well to the program, and I can't wait to talk a little bit more about it. All right, so we will talk more with David Patrick. You can see the clock counting down. We're getting closer to tip off. We're going to take one quick commercial break. When we come back, we'll have more on tonight's contest as UC Riverside is on the road at Cal Poly. The Inland Sports Show is brought to you by Spoiled. Quick, quality oil change. Spoil yourself and your car at Spoiled. Ken Sporting Goods. They have all of your sporting gear needs, letterman's jackets, and team uniforms. Catalano Motors in Corona off of Tomesco Canyon Road. You're going to save thousands of dollars at Catalano Motors. And boost performance training with Coach Ray Bass. Athletes of all levels and all sports are going to boost performance training in Corona. the biggest thing for customers on an oil change. They just want to, the convenience of coming in, driving in, getting it done, and, and driving out. We just greet them, get them going, and they're done in about 10 minutes or so. We don't push any sales on them. We do the oil change. Uh, and I think that's that's what sets us apart is our, our customer service. Vacuum and cleaned your windshield for you as well. Everything's looking pretty good. You come into us one time, believe me, we'll spoil you and you'll be ready to come back the next time. guys coach bass here to all you football players as season comes to an end don't miss the opportunity to get better this offseason we're rolling out our overtime strength training program our overtime program is a three six week cycle that'll be starting on january 7th we're gonna have three levels beginners intermediate and advanced uh, for elementary middle and high school athletes and what you can expect with our overtime program is what you can always expect here at boost strength development speed development we're gonna be doing performance testing and nutritional guidance to help you guys get bigger, stronger, and faster. So overtime's coming back, it's starting January 7th, and it's gonna be better than ever. If you'd like to find more information about our overtime program that has served a lot of great athletes in the Corona Norco area, feel free to contact us directly through Facebook, uh, on Instagram at Boost Training, or Twitter, Boost underscore Training. Or reach out to us directly here at our gym at 951-532-4904. set for UC Riverside men's basketball. Welcome back to Cal Poly. The Highlanders actually, they just left the floor. We're going to, you know, get some extra shots. What's going on, guys? Coach Bass here. To all you football. Here. Trust me. They are in the building. They are here. So UCR taking on Cal Poly tonight, going for back-to-back -back Big West Conference wins, coming off the heels of a huge win against Hawaii, their first conference win of the season, their first conference win for head coach David Patrick. Tonight could also be a first as they go for their first road win of the season. UCR looked fantastic against the Rainbow Warriors. Dragon Elkaz dropped a 
career-high 25 points in that game. The last several games, we've seen the emergence of Callum McRae in the middle. The young freshman has really turned a corner, Jeff, in terms of his aggressiveness and his his um, his approaches to the physicality of this game. He's he's not afraid to kind of draw that contact and go strong with the ball up to the rim. Yeah, in fact, we, we you hit it on the head. The physicality, we've seen a big difference. Just in the last few games, we've seen the confidence level raised. Remember, two games ago, he, he had not missed a shot. He missed one shot in the last two games. He has been really a dominant force on the block, which has been able, to, the team has been able to play off of him. It has stretched the floor. That's why Dragon Elkaz was so successful last game is because of the post play from Callum McRae. So we're getting closer to tip off here, a little over 31 minutes before we kind of get to the pregame introduction kind of stuff here at Mott Gym. Jeff, we just spoke with, David Patrick before the game, and you can hear that interview as well as the entire game at GoHighlanders.com at about 6.45. So in about 15, 20 minutes, we'll be live over there. And he was basically saying that, you know, they shoot very, very well at home, the Highlanders. On the road, they still have not won a game this year. But even if the baskets are not falling for UCR, you can always defend, you can always rebound. And the biggest problem is, is that, you know, even though the Mustangs don't have a great record in conference, they still have the number two ranked shooter in the country in Mark Crow. He's made 38 for 76. He is shooting 50%. He is number two among all Division One players. He has become their leading scorer. He's averaging over 11 points a game. And you also have Donovan Fields, who has been their leading scorer the last three seasons, a dynamic point guard. He put up 30 against Menlo. He's had 20 over 50 times in his career playing for the Mustangs. Well, the only people in here right now are the cheerleaders. They're also warming up for tonight's big game. Jeff, if you remember, when we were here last year, I'm assuming it was in January or February, but they acted like it was Christmas. They were celebrating like it was Christmas. Everyone was dressed up. They were singing Christmas songs. I think we saw Santa Claus here. I don't know what was going on here at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, but they, the, the student section, they, they have a, a really good time out here. We're just trying to make that home court advantage kind of get a little crazy. Yeah, it's one of those places. It's, it's nice to play in a place like this for a couple reasons. A big, huge student body. Uh, they all live on campus, which is great, which also means they have a football team. So when you have a football team and you have so many students, it's a true college town. You're going to get the college fans. You're going to get the student section. It's a fun place to watch basketball. It looks like a Quonsa hut or a big airplane hangar, but it is one of the most unique venues in the Big West. Yeah, like those big like uh, metal shipping containers you'd find like on a cargo ship. I, I, I don't know. It's something about the, these walls uh, on the ends behind the backboards that kind of looks like that. Yeah, very, very cool place to play and like you said the great fans here as we saw last year so there's a lot of reasons to get excited about this one UC Riverside on the road at Cal Poly if UCR can get a win tonight against the Mustangs they will improve to two and two in the Big West it'll be their first true road win of the season for the Highlanders so Jeff the good there could be a lot of positives if UCR can get a win tonight against Cal Poly it would be a great to get, go on a two-game winning streak and then playing against the the favorited uh, UC Irvine Anteaters at Irvine. Get that out of the way. You never know. Upsets have happened. UC Riverside's playing at the best they've played all season long. We've seen UC Irvine lose to Long Beach at home by 10. Anything can happen in this crazy Big West. Oh, the Big West is nuts. And if, can you imagine if, if UCR can get a win uh, tonight against Cal Poly, you know, piggy, piggyback that on the Hawaii win, They'd have a lot of confidence going into that UC Irvine game on Saturday on the road. Yeah, and really an opportunity to kind of uh, jump over a lot of teams. You know, Cal State Northridge has really come out and been very surprising this year. Long Beach State, like you said, has, stole, has taken a win from Irvine at home. So if Riverside were able to uh, piggyback these wins, they would be right in the thick of things for the conference championship. So it is a big night for UCR basketball. The Highlanders take it on Cal Poly. Again, listen to the game live at GoHighlanders.com at 6.45 p.m. Well, for Jeff Gorham, my name is Pep Fernandez. We always appreciate you tuning in. And again, we're going to take a quick break, and then you can find us over at GoHighlanders.com. We are live at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. Make sure you hit subscribe to the Inland Sports YouTube channel. Make sure you give us a follow on Twitter as well. We'll see you over at GoHighlanders.com in just about 10 minutes.
The Inland Sports Show is brought to you by Spoiled Quick Quality Oil Change. Spoil yourself and your car at Spoiled. Ken Sporting Goods, they have all of your sporting gear needs, letterman's jackets, and team uniforms. Catalano Motors in Corona off of Temescal Canyon Road. You're going to save thousands of dollars at Catalano Motors. And boost performance training with Coach Ray Bass. Athletes of all levels and all sports are going to boost performance training in Corona. Thank God, first of all, I, I thank the great people that I've got around me that uh, help support me, the people that work for me. As I started, if it wasn't for the people around me, uh, we probably wouldn't be here right now, but I've got a great staff. I've got great people that do stuff for us outside the store, and uh, we've been very, very fortunate. Our service is impeccable, and we just keep trying to get better every year. We can do online stuff for your teams as well as, like I said, the screen printing, the embroidery. We also have three women that do extra sewing for us, uh, like tackle tool on uniforms or uh, the bling or rhinestones for, for different shirts for the ladies. That's why we have uh, certain racks just, just for certain schools and, and the, uh, the, fun, the fun about that is that it turns into other schools that may come in here that uh, aren't as close that we can do stuff for them as well. We've had very, very good customers throughout the years and it's just been, it's just been a blast.